What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have an absolutely crazy story that I saw today when I'm recording this. You guys will be seeing this the next day, but it is wild. So apparently there was a Chinese court auction that was canceled at 13.4 million dollars that involved Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we've seen a lot of crazy prices recently with Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic cards, stuff like that, sports cards. 13.4 million is nuts. I don't really know what the deal is. There's an article written here and we're gonna like go over it and see what in the world this is talking about. So on here it says, Chinese court auction canceled after huge bids for rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. I guess Blue Eyes, it says 13.4 million for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, we're gonna find out June 23rd. It was updated at 6.05 a.m. A few of you guys tagged me in this on Instagram. Follow me at, at Ruxin34 there. Shameless plug. A Chinese court has canceled an auction for a criminal's possessions after public bidding reached an unexpected 13.4 million. It is believed that the bids are an attempt to win a rare Yu-Gi-Oh card that is among the possessions. So they don't even know if this is true. So this is very weird. As reported by the Ch South China Morning Post, the card in question is a Blue Eyes White Dragon contained in a special Yu-Gi-Oh official card game 20th anniversary frame. It is one of 500 limited edition cards that were released in 2019. And also, the picture they actually used for this, they used a Maximum Gold Blue Eyes. So it's not actually the Maximum Gold Blue Eyes, it's this 2019 anniversary one. So they completely screwed up which one they were talking about, which is hilarious. However, the card's currently valued between 200 and 300,000. I don't know how to say this currency, so I'm not even gonna try but that's approximately 31 to $46,000. And so the bidding reached 87 million, which is $13.4 million, is far beyond what experts expected for the card. Yeah, because there's no Yu-Gi-Oh cards worth 13 to 14 million. So I don't know what the deal like with this auction is. Even among collectors, as, as such, the auctions were suspended with auctioneers suspecting foul play. What in the world is going on? Like guys, this is wacky. It has, there's no way they were bidding up a card for this much because like there's no blue eyes worth 13.4 million. I mean, we've never seen anything even a million dollars. So this is just a, a weird, crazy wacky article. The price is seriously inconsistent with actual bidding. Malicious bidding behavior is suspected. More than 18,000 people bid on the card. 18,000. Considering it is unclear if the card is authentic or not, no checks have been made to ensure the card is not fake. Either way, it doesn't matter if it's real, fake, this card came out two years ago, now worth 13.4 million, but something weird's going on here. The card in question previously belonged to Zhang Yuhi, who was sentenced to life imprisonment, imprisonment last year due to embezzling millions from a government fund. Due to his life sentence, all his belongings are to be auctioned. The funniest part about this article is this last part. Blue Eyes White Dragon isn't a good card though. at least according to our anime club back in 2015. Their reference for Blue Eyes is a good card is their anime club six years ago. <laughs> so I guess that, I'm guessing the anime club, which is probably people just playing Yu-Gi-Oh, um, said, yeah, it's not a good card because you can't play it in the game. They're not, I mean, they're not talking about actually how valuable it is. So that's hilarious they use that as a reference. For more bizarre news from the popular anime card game, check out our story on how a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament penalized players for being smelly. What am I reading? That's the end of the article, guys. That's it. There's almost no information. Chinese court auction canceled after huge bids for rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. But we don't even know if they were bidding on the Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is the weirdest thing I've ever read, but you guys tagged me in it and I was like 13.4 million, I gotta read this thing. If you guys know anything more about this, let me know in the comments because I'm I'm intrigued by this. I'm like, what is the deal? Like, I need to look up this card on eBay and see if it's actually worth anything. What is this thing called? Okay, so I think that this is the card they're actually talking about because this has the 20th anniversary. It's in the official, uh, what they call it on here? 20th anniversary frame. So here it is. This one is listed at 30,000 euro. So that's a lot, obviously, 35,000 USD, but that's not one point. What was it? No, 13.4 million. Yeah, it's not 13.4 million. You can get it over from King Grimlock right now. 30,000 euro clean. So there is definitely something wacky going on with this auction. And it is weird. It's over in China. They have 
this 20th anniversary thing and it's being auctioned from a criminals. So this guy's been embezzling funds and he has a blue eyes card and now he's going to jail. And now people are bidding it up. What did this guy have with these cards? There's something major in there. So like dead bodies or something. This is insane. Like this is crazy. Weirdest story I've ever seen involving Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I thought I figured I'd share it with you guys because it's like, it's nuts. But there's not too much, you know, to unpack here. Unless we're just going to have some theories like what in the world is going on with this card. What did this guy have? What did this Zhang Yu he have hidden? He's hiding something from us. Is he the Pharaoh himself? Could he go, is he actually a 5,000 year old Pharaoh? He has all of Egypt's treasures. He knows how they built the pyramids. He knows all that stuff. That's why they're bidding 13.4 million. They even canceled this thing because they found out all the information and the government wants it for themselves. Okay, I'm just kidding. Let's just end this thing. Pretty weird, pretty weird auction. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. We also have a giveaway, guys. If you guys stay to the end of this crazy video, misprint Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. It should be a secret rare, but there's no secret foiling. I actually auctioned this on Whatnot, and they canceled the order. So guess what? You guys get to get it for free. Speaking of Whatnot, follow me in the description. Also, we are trying to sell out this first edition Metal Raiders booster box. We have a few more packs left, and once we do, we're going to do the box break. Also, the 19th anniversary of Metal Raiders um, is on Saturday. So if we get there by then, we can do the box break on the actual anniversary. 19 years ago, that set was released in the United States. So that would be really cool. If we don't get there, we'll do it a different day. But that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this off-the-wall, random, weird video. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!